Hi, Jim Colt here, and we're working with Maverick CNC, uh, talking about uh, their CNC cutting tables. Uh, very nice, nice machine. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the different materials that you can cut with an air plasma cutter uh, on a CNC table like this. Uh, if you look in the Hypertherm uh, operator's manual uh, for the PowerMax 85 that we're using on this machine, you're going to find uh, it's a big manual. It's probably 130 pages total, um, but there are over 30, 32 pages, if I at last count, on uh, just on cut uh, parameters, how to set up for different kinds of materials. And since 95% uh, of the steel cut in the world uh, is under one inch and it's carbon steel, uh, that's, that's, we spend a lot more time with cut charts uh, that work really well on carbon steel, on, on regular mild steel, carbon steel, all kinds of steel. Uh, there also are charts for stainless steel cutting and for aluminum cutting, but a few less of them uh, because obviously we focus on what the majority that gets cut. Uh, so people ask me all the time, you have char cut charts uh, in, in the operator's manual for stainless steel, for mild steel, and for aluminum. What if I want to cut a piece of copper? What if I want to cut a piece of galvanized steel? Well, you can, the, the, the bottom line with plasma cutting is you can cut any metal that conducts electricity. So you can cut just about anything. Uh, you obviously probably don't want to cut gold because uh, it's going to blow particles of gold down in the table and you're going to have a hard time picking those out. Uh, but any of the, the normal materials that are used for metal fabrication applications can be cut very well. So just as a kind of a rule of thumb, there's some pieces of um, galvanized steel, which is very common, and a piece of regular steel, roughly the same thickness. Um, you can actually use, when you're cutting galvanized steel, since galvanized steel just has a zinc coating over a steel base, the cut quality uh, and the cut parameters are going to be essentially the same for both. Uh, if you have questions about things like that or need help fine-tuning it, uh, the experts at Maverick CNC and at Hypertherm can actually help you uh, dial it, the process in a little bit better. But in most cases, if I'm going to cut 16-gauge mild steel and then I'm going to switch over to cut 16-gauge galvanized steel, um, the same exact cut speeds, the same arc voltage, the same, all the same settings will work uh, very well. One thing that you have to be careful of though, especially with galvanized steel, that's a zinc coating uh, that keeps it, uh, keeps it from rusting on the surface. Uh, that zinc actually does make some fumes, so you have to be sure that your fume control system is working very well, whether it's a downdraft or a water table, that you don't have fumes rising from cutting uh, galvanized steel. And also, it's a good idea to wear a respirator that's, uh, that's rated for this type of cutting, uh, a, a mask, something along that line. Um, one of the other thing, questions that gets asked quite often of me is, can my machine really cut that one inch steel? Um, well, contrary to popular belief, it's actually easier to get a good cut on thicker material than it is on thin material. And the reason for that is the plasma is a really powerful, very hot arc. And to get the best cut on thin material, it has to go very fast. It has to travel very fast. And that's difficult for the machine. You've got a lot of weight that has to move here to move the torch around. Uh, so travel, cutting at 350 inches a minute is harder to do than the speed you might do on one inch material that might be 18 or 25 inches a minute, something like that. But you can take a look. This one inch cut is very nice. The 16 gauge cut is also very nice. Uh, if you've got the right equipment, uh, a machine with excellent speed and acceleration and accuracy, a good plasma like the Hypertherm, and good CNC controls uh, with integrated height control, um, you're going to have pretty good luck with all of them. But remember, thicker is actually easier to do. So throw that thick plate up on the table, and if you have trouble with it, we'll help you out. Uh, you know, every day we get calls about cutting uh, copper or cutting bronze or cutting uh, materials that aren't just aren't listed in the manual. Uh, and they don't all cut the same. Now you can you can experiment with those. What my my suggestions for cutting materials that are not listed in the operator manual cut charts is to always start with the steel cutting specs because those are the best specs in the manual. So if you've got a piece of bronze that's the same thickness as a piece of uh, steel, start with the steel specs. And the important thing is to make sure that the height always stays constant. The torch to work distance is very critical. So if it says sixty thousandths for steel. Do use 60 thousandths for bronze, and you may have to adjust the arc voltage, which is, controls the height in the power supply. We can help you with those specs if you need to. Uh, but the important thing is to do, maybe do a, a test cut on a scrap piece of the material that you need to cut and do a bunch of straight line strip cuts with the torch at a fixed height 
uh, and change the speed on every one of them. Increase the speed maybe five inches per minute uh, each cut and then look at your cuts. You'll see an improvement coming as the speed changes and just keep going in that direction until there's minimal dross in the back of the cut, the best cut quality. You can develop your own specs. Um, the alternative to that, maybe to get a little bit closer to the specs, are, would be to call the experts at Maverick CNC or at Hypertherm in their tech service department, and they can get you dialed in pretty close on materials that are not listed in the manual. Remember, you can cut pretty much anything, uh, any metal, and metals, as long as they conduct electricity. I'm not aware of any metals that don't conduct electricity, so it's a good process for you.